And uh, up next, we have Yolele Foods with Pierre Tam and Philip Tiveru. Um, I have a particular love for businesses that are introducing unknown African superfoods to the US. It's really hard, full stop. Um, but Yolele is crushing it. Um, two fun things about these guys. So Pierre studied, studied science, worked in a restaurant on the side, thought it was just, you know, like a college job. And he's still there 30 years later and building amazing, amazing cuisine. And Philip, guys, there's a theme here. He spent a year living with shepherds in Transylvania. I'm hearing a theme. Um, so can't wait to hear all about what this amazing team is doing to bring Fonio to the US market. Thanks, guys. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Lisa. Hi, my name is Pierre Kiam. I'm a chef, a cookbook author, a restaurateur, and the co-founder of Yolele. Yolele is an African food company with a mission to bring the great ingredients grown by small farming communities of Africa to a global market. So this journey really began with me working 30 years ago in the food industry of New York City, working in various restaurants and realizing that in this so-called food capital of the world, there was a big absence, Africa. I knew that the food I grew up eating in Senegal had a place in this world. So it became my mission. I started opening restaurants, writing cookbooks. And as I was writing those cookbooks, I saw another opportunity. My readers didn't have access to the ingredients. One ingredient in particular caught my attention. It's an ancient grain that's been cultivated for over 5,000 years in Africa. And this is called fonio. Next, fonio is an amazing grain. It grows in an area called the Sahel, south of the Sahara Desert, dry and arid. It's drought resistant. It grows in poor soil, but it also generates, regenerates the soil because, thanks to its deep roots that add nutrients to the soil. In addition, Fonio is a nutrient, a nutritional powerhouse. It's rich in protein, rich in amino acids, cysteine and methionine, rich in fibers, scores low on the glycemic index. And what's more fascinating for me as a chef is the fact that Fonio cooks in five minutes and it's very versatile. So it became the first ingredient in our vision when we started Yolele. And my business partner, co-founder, Philip Tevro, who's also a veteran in the food industry, will tell you more about what we did from then. Thanks. Next, please. So we do bring a, a suite of biodiverse ingredients that are climate resilient to a global market, but the, the way we do it is by using them as ingredients in finished goods, starting with Fonio, eventually pilaf mixes, and today, Fonio chips. Next, please. We've gotten a lot of traction uh, in terms of distribution for our products and in terms of media attention. Next. And we've been able to do this because we built our own biodiverse team, uh, pretty accomplished people that are backing us up. Next, please. Uh, we uh, uh, have experienced uh, triple digit growth in each of our years of existence and are looking forward to a lot more. Next, please. And we are raising money. Uh, we're raising it to grow the business and we have some very specific ideas, Pierre. Yes, actually, I'd like you to know that Fonio is really just a Trojan horse. There are dozens of other such crops in Africa, like Lisa can confirm to you, that we are looking to introduce to this market and save biodiversity and create the unique business model of bringing economic opportunities to the poorest regions in the world, the rural farmers of Africa. So Fonio is the Trojan horse for your lily to become the African brand, the global African food brand. Thank you. Thank you. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Chime. Uh, thank you guys. That was amazing. Incredible presentation. And I know people are so excited to chat with you more in the breakout room.